Yo, okay, Pace Guy here. What's going on into you? Welcome back to the channel. And today we have made some new friends in Hydes. They have sent out their MP145 in ear earphones that I am very excited to announce to you guys because not only should these be fantastic sounding earphones, but they also partner with a Kickstarter where you guys can help save whales and dolphins. I'll get more into that here in a second. There's a Kickstarter link down below where you can pre order these for $139 or jump into the Kickstarter for I think 109 and own yourself a pair of the MP145s before they release. Now, the Dolphins and Whales, they have partnered with the ability to kind of donate and give back to saving the whale, saving the dolphins. Because if you aren't familiar with how important they are to our ecosystem, to our planet, to our oceans, they are vastly important. And you have the ability to kind of help save whales and dolphins with a little bit of this Kickstarter. So buying a pair of headphones or jumping on the Kickstarter does also donate to saving a cause. So if that's important to you, check down below in the description box. Let's go ahead and get these unboxed and show you what's inside. So the MP145 is a oversized planar magnetic driver. So you have the driver here, which we can go ahead and pop one of them out. If I can get them out with one hand, maybe I can, maybe I can't, but I'll just take the tray out and show you guys. So this is the driver themselves. They are obviously detached from the cable, which is inside the box here. And then we do have a lot of different tips. Now, you may have not seen this in different headphones or earphones before, but these tips not only are different sizes for different ear sizes, ear shapes, but they also characterize the sound differently. The top here, vocal ear tips, balance ear tips, and bass ear tips. So these are shaped differently and at different sizes so that you get a different sound characteristic. So depending on how you like your music or what kind of music you listen to, one of these options will be best for you. For me, I'm probably gonna be more for the balance ear tips, but I will try all three for viewing purposes, reviewing purposes. This box here, they actually sent me a second set of tips here or, or, or uh, headphones. These are detachable from their cord, as you guys can see here. So you have a different style that fits to the cord. So that's gonna be pretty cool. I'll get those unboxed as well. Let me open this up and show you guys the cabling. So inside that box was a lot of different goodies. Of course, you guys see the carrying bag here that you can put your earphones in. Inside that bag was the owner's manual slash start guide. Looks like a warranty card has the option to write your social, or you're not social, wow, don't do that. <laughs> write your serial number there and the date you got them. There's the cables there. And check this out here. These are actually filters. If I can get this to focus by chance, these are filters that you can put inside the earphones to change, again, the characteristics. There's a lot of tuning you can do with these earphones, not only the tips, but the actual speakers themselves. They twist in and out to change the tuning. And then here is your braided cable here. Now they are labeled left and right, and you wanna make sure you plug them into the right earphone but they kind of have these prongs. If I can get this to focus, they have prongs on them. So then they plug directly into these earphones. So they're removable. If you want to store them away or change the earphone themselves, you can, and then they're braided. We'll get that unraveled here in a second. And then, like I said, this is just another set of earphones that you can use if you don't want to use those ones here. These look pretty cool. So let's go ahead and unbox those too. So check those out. Has a little checkered kind of look, little patternized design there. Looks really neat. Kind of has that bluish hue to it. I don't know if they have any different sound characteristics. I'll have to test that out. It might just be purely designed, but they do look smaller than the ones to the left of them. So we'll have to see if there's any sound differences. But other than that, I'm going to spend some time with these, listen to some music, and I'll come back to you guys and tell you what I think. All right, guys. So I've listened to both headphones no this video is not sponsored by coca-cola but i wish i just like cherry coke but these headphones here they're actually standalone headphones these are the ms1 galaxy so i thought these were just different earpieces which you can use these with those cords if you want to but these are standalone these are separate headphones here um, i'm not going to focus too much on these because it's more about these headphones here but i did listen to both and i listened to all of the earpieces that you get. So I'm gonna just get right to it. First and foremost, I love the cables like these because they are very high quality. They don't tangle very easily and they're not really that heavy. So they don't they don't pull the 
headphone out of your ear like some other wired headphones do. Now these have a style where they're kind of looped. They hook around the back side of your ear and then you put them into your, your ear like you normally would and they stay in place a whole lot better. My biggest complaint with wired headphones is that when you're moving around, walking, running, weightlifting, whatever, they fall out of your ears because the cable bounces as you move. But because they have this loop, even this one does as well, they kind of wrap around your ear and it takes a lot of that bounciness off your ear. So even though your cord is moving, this part stays in place. So I love that. So I like that because of this. Now, there is no microphone on this one here. It's just your 3.5 millimeter jack and then your earbuds. This one has a microphone and a button where you can play pause and all that good stuff if your phone is compatible with it. So let's focus more on the MP145. I listened to all of the ear tips inside the box here. I started off with balanced ear tips. This is kind of like neutral, right? There's no real change to the sound you would think. So I started with the balanced ear tips. I really like the sound. This gets super loud. There's no amplifier or DAC built into the wire. It just runs off your phone's um, amplifier, your built-in amplifier, whatever. So I'm really impressed with how loud this got. Actually way louder than I expected to the point where I actually turned it down. I never do that. So I started with the balanced ear tips and there's a, it truly is a balance of bass, mid bass, treble, vocal. It is a really nice sweet tone with these. I was skeptical because I didn't think that silicone ear tips could change the sound, but I did some extensive listening. I use um, Blinding Lights by The Weeknd. It has a really nice tone, really good bass line, a lot of instruments, and his voice is more of a higher pitch male voice. So it showed me a lot of vocal range as well. So I listened to that over and over again. I started with the balanced ear tips. Again, really smooth, neutral sound. And then I went straight from balanced to bass ear tips. And actually, these are my favorite out of the three. I'll explain why in a second. But the bass ear tips does add or bring back more bass. It, it's weird because it doesn't muffle anything. It kind of just opens up the bass line just a little bit. There is an audible difference between the two tips. So I like the bass because there's not like an overwhelming amount of bass to start with. So having these in brings back a little bit of that bass. And I think this has a more balanced sound than the balanced tips itself. I really like it. So I went straight from bass back to balance and then balance to vocal. Now, I didn't hear much of a difference between balanced ear to vocal ear. You do get a little bit less bass on vocal, so that kind of just tells me that it's restraining some of that lower octave note to kind of help the vocals come through a little bit easier, but it's not boosting anything. It's not adding more treble to the sound. It's kind of cutting away at some of that bass, so I guess the ear tip is smaller so that less of that bass can travel through. And then this is a, a bigger opening, so more bass comes through, and this is kind of in the middle. But I purposely, or, or, or more so, like the bass ear tips a lot better because that, for me, was a more balanced sound. Now, to refer you to these right quick, they have their own ear tips on the inside of the MS-1 Galaxy. They're smaller than the small ones on here, and I love these tips right here. They don't have, they have multiple tips, but they don't change the sound. These tips feel really, really good. These stayed in my ear really well. They got uncomfortable after maybe an hour and a half, two hours, which is good. These right here felt so lightweight, like nothing was in my ear. Maybe that more so has to do with the driver themselves because they're smaller, not as heavy as these here. But I really like these tips, so I may have to use those tips for this one, and hopefully I get a pretty good sound out of it. But if you're using just what's in this box here, the base ear tips sounded the best to me. So do I recommend the MP145? I do actually, because the price point for what you're getting is phenomenal. These sound really, really good. I mean, probably better than a lot of headphones, maybe double its price. And because it's so inexpensive, I don't know that there's anything out there that can beat it. Now, they're not Apple um, lossless. They are high res, but they're not Apple lossless. So if you care about that, you don't get that. So if you're using an iPhone, you don't have um, lossless capabilities, hence why they only come with 3.5 millimeter jacks. But I have an, uh, an Android phone, so I use an adapter. You will need one as well on your iPhone. And that's why it's not high res. I mean, that's why it's it's not Apple lossless, but it is high res. So you get really good sound quality coming out of this. 
You get really good sound quality coming out of the MS1 Galaxy as well, um, but it's a noticeable difference in sound quality between the two. Not that this sounds bad, they get equally loud, but that has a way more refined sound than the MS1s. I'll have to see what the price is. So they didn't tell me what the price was on this. They only kind of talked about this here. I was not expecting to get this as well. So overall, really solid headphone. I am super happy to have been working with Hydes for this video because these headphones are really nice. Not a lot of people use wired headphones anymore, but I think the best quality sound comes from wired headphones still. So these are something you should definitely take uh, attention to. Down below in the comments, comment section, <laughs> sorry, down below in the description, there will be a link to these as well as more info on the dolphin and whales that you can donate to, adopt a whale, whatever you want to do to donate back to the earth, to the dolphins, to the whales. There will be links to that if you care. Otherwise, there'll be a link to this as well. You guys can take a look at their Kickstarter, own it for 109 or you can pre-order it for 139 Really good price. I'll try to find these and link them down below as well as these are really nice, really good cable, has remote and microphone as well. I'm going to hold on to those. I really like it. So thank you guys so much at Hydis for sending these out to me for review. Thank you guys for watching the video and we will see you guys on the next one. K-Pace guy out. Peace.